Hello, my name is Milky, and you're watching Milky's channel. <laughs> uh, hi, um, I'm still very, very awkward, so I apologize. I, my face broke out horribly, so again, sorry, I look like trash. But um, anyway, uh, let me hide the girls because the girls are out today, and it is quite cold. Um, anyway. so awkward at speaking I feel like I had all of this kind of like pre-rehearsed in my brain all last night like all last night I was so overcome with like so much motivation I was like broski yeah um and now that I'm actually doing it I'm like <laughs> I don't know what to say brain empty um but your girl is seemingly hello baby <laughs> My child just came into the room, but uh, I am what appears to be jobless once more. I have not worked basically at all this month. I don't have like a, what would you call that, corporate job? I don't know, whatever. Um, I babysit for my soon-to-be sister-in-law, <laughs> but uh, they haven't really needed me. So, I just been home all day, and I'm like, alright, well, if I'm back to doing uh, all day, I've been home, like, this whole month, with the exception of when we went to Texas. But, um, yeah, so, I'm kind of just like, uh, if I'm back to doing nothing and being a stay-at-home mom, I'm gonna do something, because your girl is tired of being broke and jobless and doing nothing, and uh, I don't want to say it. I am gonna say it, it sounds wrong, but I hate contributing nothing financially to the household. Um, because obviously I do contribute, I take care of our child. I'm a stay at home mom, like, that is definitely contributing. <laughs> but, uh, contributing financially, the lack of contribution financially on my part I don't like it I don't like it at all I never have contrary to popular belief because people think that I just enjoy doing nothing I actually hate it um, I used to have a job with my mom we used to sell stuff at the flea market we had our own little store back when I was like 12 and we were there up until I was 19 so I'm 25 now and I miss that very very much <laughs> but um that's kind of what the whole premise of this video is because I am ridiculous and I realize that I get in my own way. So, I've kind of been on like this little like self-love journey and like self-healing because you know your girl is like hella traumatized. So, I, last year was like the starting point, you know, cause like first half of last year was a struggle. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep on messing with my hair because I'm like super self-conscious. Anyway, last year was a struggle, especially the first half of last year. Good Lord, that, that shit was ass. Okay, I was like, it was bad. Um, and you know, I still had my moments like time after that, but I, I have gotten significantly better mentally and you know, everything, but um, I want to do better. And I want to be better. And of course, you, you, you're just constantly growing and developing. And you can always be better. So, this year, I told myself that this year I was going to be on my money-ish. <laughs> and that little jobby job that I have, fuck them. I can't do it, okay? Like, no. It, it's, it's too much. Babysitting is too much, okay? Um... I'm like, I could I be with my child. I cannot be with other people's children. What are you doing? <laughs> he climbed on the bed. Uh, anyway. Um, but something that my fiance always tells me, and he used to get very, very frustrated with me because he says that, like, it's... Because he says exactly this. I am someone who has... I can legitimately go after my dreams with like no problem like uh, apologies he was calling me but hopefully that is the last time that I get interrupted as I'm trying to do this but um yeah I I have every means to do exactly what I want in life it's just I get in my own way 
as I'm sure many people do. I feel like most people do. We always get in our own ways for whatever reason. And I have like, I'm not very confident in myself either. It's just, it, it's, and it's ridiculous because I'm like milky. Like, you're a very creative person. Like, I always have been, and I've always known, I have legit, I've always known, like, in my brain, ever since I was a kid, I was like, I have to, like, as I get older, my job has to be in the creative field, because there's just no way, I, I never pictured myself, and, like, now, as an adult, and I don't have much experience, I've only had one corporate job, or whatever, um, My child is being a monkey. Oh my gosh, he just turned on the TV. It's fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, I, I've had one, like, legitimate job. I hate saying legitimate, but you know what I mean. Like, a corporate job. I've had one. Is it corporate? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Whatever. Um, I've had one job like that. Uh, and it was cool. It was whatever. I made good money and all that stuff. But did I like it? No, I didn't. Like I said, when I was working with my mom, I like that because it was our thing and it was fun. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I'm just, I feel like I need to be in a space where I am creating, where I am doing what I want, enjoying what I'm doing. And I tell myself what to do. <sighs> and so, even knowing all of this and knowing, uh, what am I trying to say? Even knowing all of this, but like not, I just don't do anything. I don't do anything and it's annoying. And the older I get, the older I got in the past, we're going to speak pen, past tense now. The older I got, the more I was just like, oh, well, it's too late, Mila. You already ruined your life. I turn 25 tomorrow. 25! I'm already halfway to 30. Like, how did we get here? <laughs> I have a child. And I'm like, no. No, we're not going to keep on doing this, like, self-deprecating, talking ourselves out of doing everything that we want like we're not doing it anymore i'm like i have a child a child who i want to see nothing but the best parts of me and part of that is him seeing me actually go after what i want in life i'm like maybe he will see his mommy do all of these nice things and he'll be like oh i want to be an artist like ma like i want something like i just want him To be proud of me and I want to have something to show for it. Granted, it's, well no, I'm not even going to say like, I was going to be like, oh, it's not like you have to whatever, whatever for your kid to be proud of you. This is something that will not only make me feel fulfilled, but like, I also feel like it will instill like something good in my child like if he sees me going after my dreams and hey who knows maybe i'll be successful at it because you never know until you try and that is an issue that i have trouble i mean that that is a concept that is a thing that i have trouble understanding okay you the second that you don't try you're already failing you don't give yourself the chance to even possibly succeed you're only giving yourself the option to fail because you're not even putting yourself out there like i've dabbled a tiny tiny bit a tiny tiny bit the most minuscule amount like i have an etsy account i made like 11 sales in total on there in a span of like four years which is tragic but uh i have products not many, but I have some, and most of it I've never even sold because I don't put it out there because I'm scared. 
Like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous, but I'm gonna try to, no, not I'm gonna try. I am, I am holding myself accountable this time. I'm gonna do it. I will, I want to pursue art. That is something I have known since like 2019. Like, I enjoyed drawing a lot as a kid. 2019 is when I got super heavy into like reading comics and stuff. And I was like, I want to make one myself. I literally have a whole story, a whole plot, characters and everything. Like, I have like a first chapter already written out and everything. I just, I don't, I haven't drawn any of it because I'm scared. I'm like, oh, well, you have to have an audience for it, girl. Just do it. And like my fiance, he gets so frustrated with me because he like actually believes that it's good and that it will <laughs> do good. It's just me. It's me getting in my own way and I am done. So hopefully at some point this year, that will be something that gets released. Even if it's like a ugly busted little like first draft of a chapter like I can always go back redo everything and like make it look all nice and pretty in my typical art style if I want to like I just need to start releasing stuff I need to start doing something and part of that is I want to do my comic I want to do I want to like make merchandise of my art. I literally have, we have a sewing machine, an embroidery machine, and a heat press machine. And I don't use it. We even have a tattoo machine. I don't use it. Excuse me, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I have to put that stuff to use this year. Like I have to, I have to. And again, I'm holding myself accountable, okay? I'm not gonna sit around anymore. I'm not gonna do nothing anymore. I believe in myself. I believe I can do this and I want to make my child proud. I want to make myself proud. I want to make my son proud. And I just want to make my family proud. Like, it's, I know that I have it in me. It's just, all of the negativity from years and years and years that just like comes back and it's just like well you're stupid well everything you do is dumb so just don't do it at all and no i'm i'm done i'm done with that i'm done listening to that because it's not true it is not that is not facts that is not the tea <laughs> i'm sorry but yeah no i'm i'm getting older and before I turn 30, I want to say that I tried. And before I turn 30, I believe I will be fairly successful with my art and all of that. We're speaking into existence, Miss Girl. <laughs> we manifesting. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do more stupid talky videos like this. Maybe like this is entertaining in sorts or maybe i'm just like super cringe probably both both i can't talk either if you can't tell not that i can't talk but i'm still very awkward okay i'm still like <laughs> getting over that <laughs> your girl has made significant progress in the past like two years so please be patient with me okay i promise i'll get better <laughs> like a few years ago i would have sat here and been like oh 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 like Ew, so cringe. I'm so cringy. Anyway, like, it, it, it would have been bad. We have made significant progress. Anyway, I think that is all for today. But basically, I'm holding myself accountable. I will, I, I, I want to document my journey in pursuing my art. So, not really sure how am I going to do that because all of my stuff is at my mom's house like my cameras and stuff and I don't even know like when's the next time I'm gonna be over there I had moved out like damn near three years ago and majority of my stuff is still over there so that's tragic but um I record on my phone it's probably kind of obvious the quality is not the best but um yeah so I'm gonna try to find a way to document my journey into trying to launch my art career and 
hopefully that's something that goes well and yeah i hope that you guys you guys being whoever watches this video all the way through and my family that supports me i hope that you guys will join me for the journey join me for the ride i think that's what they say and i hope you guys enjoy it <laughs> And I hope you guys believe in me too, because I'm feeling super motivated. And I believe in me. Who? Ooh. Whoa. Oh, I used to do this to my mom all the time. Anyway, I'm being ridiculous. Goodbye! <laughs>